Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Originally, this video was supposed to be the altering of my wedding dress and I started to film that yesterday. It was a disaster. It was a disaster. I had an idea in mind, tried to do it. Tried to do it like eight different ways, none of them worked. I think the idea I had is just impossible to do. I became increasingly more frustrated as I went, started feeling like I was just ruining my wedding dress for no good reason and decided to give up. So my wedding dress looks the way it always has and will remain so. <laughs> so instead, today we are doing something that I'm excited about, that is soothing and calming and has nothing to do with stressful wedding alterations. We are making a tea menu. So in my last tea related video where I decluttered my tea collection, someone commented with the idea of making a tea menu and I thought it was absolutely brilliant because whenever I have guests over they are quite overwhelmed with the amount of tea, the different choices of tea that I have to offer. A tea menu listing all of the different kinds of teas that I currently have on offer sounds like an absolutely brilliant idea and that is what we're going to do today. I'm going to make a digital image file thing that is printable that you guys can use as well so I will have a download link to that in the description box below. Before I get started on the design process there are a couple things to consider so first of all I don't know about you but my tea isn't my collection isn't static it changes all the time so a menu like this needs to be customizable if I don't want to have to print out a new one every couple of weeks. I want to be able to just cross off a tea that I've run out of and then fill in whatever I've replaced it with. Second of all, it needs to be organized in a way that makes sense. So I think I want to do loose leaf teas and bagged teas and then organize them by category um, and by kind of tea. So I will have black teas, green teas, herbal teas, rooibos teas, and there needs to be enough room for all of my teas for my entire collection. Problem there is I have no idea how big my collection is, so I'm have to, gonna have to go and count my teas, <laughs> which is not something I'm looking forward to very much, but it needs to happen. Okay, so it turns out I have about 74 tea flavors at the moment and that is not counting all of the little individual ones. If I leave space for 80 flavors, that should be plenty. I'm still trying to slim down my collection and I think I should probably do two pages. I have opened up Canva here, which is what I'm gonna use since I am not very talented with graphic design and um, especially the software related to graphic design. So we're just gonna go the simple route and just use Canva, see if I can make something nice out of that. So I have opened up the menu template section of Canva and we're gonna see if there are any cute ones here. I'm just gonna scroll all the way down to all of them, I think. So what I'm, what I'm planning to do here is to create a template that I will then print out, put into something transparent that I can then write on so that I can just scratch it off and then rewrite it again. So I will need a light background in order for that to work, something that I can write on in black. I've changed my mind a little bit. I think I will be able to get more information onto the page and end up with a more user-friendly product if I do a brochure instead of just a whole page of information. So I've been scrolling through the brochure section templates on Canva and all the ones I like are funeral brochures, but we're just gonna disregard <laughs> that this is a funeral brochure and work with it because I love this one. I'm gonna remove this photo and all of the um, information. I'm gonna tea 
menu instead. <laughs> Let's make this slightly less depressing. It's always time for tea. I want to have some tea images in here. Oh, that one's pro. Let's see this one. I love this kind of sketched style. So I'm going to try and work with these. I'm going to mix it with those florals and see if I absolutely hate that they are different styles. It might work, it might absolutely not. So this will be the back, right? So just gonna put Loopsy on the back. Let's make this much smaller. Enjoy! Just hold that one. <laughs> so the inside is here. Um, I have also given up on the idea of splitting the sections into loose leaf and bag tees because it doesn't really matter, honestly, when you pick one. So I'm just going to start with black tea. Let's make that bold. Black. Um, that's my largest category, is it? Black, green and rooibos are the biggest ones. If I do two per page, I'll be good. Green is a large category. Okay, so I have removed all of the <laughs> funeral stuff and I now have a foundation kind of with some of those floral graphics and some tea graphics. I'm trying to figure out how this folds up. I want to, <laughs> I kind of want to do a quote on this one. <laughs> Somehow I find it hard to believe there is actually a person called Erlene Gray who said this. Yeah, these are very bad. Okay, let's go back to the start. Okay, I have no idea who the Minister of Leaves is, but I'm gonna use this quote. There is no such person. Okay, then I will not feel bad just altering this quote. <gasps> Love it! Okay, I have also decided that instead of writing on something that I can scratch out, I'm just gonna write in pencil. Even though I need this to be flexible, my tea flavors don't change all that often, so I think I can get away with writing in pencil and just erasing it when I need to. I need 15. <laughs> That's a lot! Okay, I need to make this thinner, obviously. Let's remove those. Let's do two. Okay, some printer trouble and a couple hours later I have a tea menu. It is um, very homemade looking. <laughs> Our printer absolutely refused to print the way I wanted it to, so it turned out a little smaller and not double-sided, so I've had to stick two pages together and I think we all remember from childhood how that turns out. Wobbly and lumpy, but the idea is there. I think it's adorable. I don't even mind that it's a little bit homemade because, I mean, it's purely for fun anyway, right? I don't think anyone's gonna take this very seriously, but I have my very own tea menu here and I love it. I love it. It's always time for tea on the back. It says 
enjoy. And then when you open it up, you have your green and black tees on the front page here. It's a little bit hard to read my pencil writing and this is one of those times when I wish I had a nicer handwriting than this weird kind of round handwriting that I thought was really cute when I was 12 and taught myself and now I'm too lazy to reteach myself. I think it wasn't the best idea to have the writing go over the little leaves. I think it would have been okay if I had written in like a black pen or something, but the pencil is just very hard to read. And I should have added a category, which I completely forgot about. So I added that just um, by hand, a category of specials where I have housed my matcha, chai latte, and my tea flowers. But then when you open it up completely, it continues with my white teas, my rooibos, which I vastly overestimated how much rooibos I had. Um, I actually have way more herbal and fruit. I wasn't able to fit them all onto the page because I left so much space for rooibos, so I might migrate a little bit there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that is what it looks like from the inside. I adore it. I think this is so fun. And even though it is definitely less than perfect, I think it's hilarious if I just, you know, give this to guests when they come over and have them choose their tea flavor. And it's practical and functional and it looks cute. So that's the most important thing. I will have the printable in the description, even though it's less than perfect, but you can always, you know, go in and customize it or you can just straight up go ahead and make one yourself from scratch or from a template <laughs> like I did. <laughs> this is just a really fun idea. If you have a more extensive tea collection, then this is definitely a great way to get a little bit of an overview and have your guests drink something else than plain black tea. So that is where I'm gonna end this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was a little bit random, but I really enjoyed doing this. So if you did enjoy it, don't forget to give a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel for lots more lifestyle, but also beauty, fashion and sewing content. If you want to support me through Patreon or my merch store, there are links in the description box below. Thank you so much for your support. There is another video here that I think you might also enjoy. You can go watch next. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!